my gosh. That was a close one. Eric was chasing me. Let me find a place to hide and then I can tell you about factoring expressions. Okay. I think this is a safe. I think this is a safe place. Okay. So, you know how last week, actually yesterday, you took a test. Um, and on the test, sometimes you had to use the distributive property. What was that? Okay. On the test, you had to use the distributive property and you would have an expression with parentheses and then you'd have to write the arrows and you'd have to simplify the expression so that it didn't have parentheses anymore. Oh, he's coming. I escaped. Okay, so you were using the distributive property. Now we're gonna go backwards. We're gonna go backwards. Instead of taking an expression with parentheses and simplifying it, we're gonna take a simplified expression. We're gonna take a simplified expression and we're gonna factor it. So it's like we're going backwards. Gonna take an expression without parentheses and we're gonna put parentheses in it. Uh, uh, uh. I got away. So you might ask me, Ms. Hosack, why do we have to do it backwards? Isn't it good enough that we know how to simplify an expression and get rid of the parentheses? That's what we've been doing for like two weeks. Oh, I don't have much time. He's gonna, he's gonna find me. You're gonna have to do things in algebra next year where you have to use the expression in the simplified form. And then you also have to use the expression in the factored form. You're just gonna have to take my word on this. You need to know how to do it both, both ways, simplified and factored. I'm gonna show you a video. I'm gonna show you a video of how to do it. Cause, cause I gotta go, I gotta go. Hello, my beautiful mathematicians. I'm going to show you how to factor some linear expressions. This is what you already know how to do. Use the distributive property. See how it starts factored. We didn't call it factored before because I didn't want to get ahead of ourselves, but that's factored. Um, see the six is getting multiplied by X plus three because it's right next to the parentheses. So it means it's getting multiplied. So if two things are getting multiplied together, it's a factor. The six is a factor and the X plus three in the parentheses is the other factor. So take a look at this example. This is what you know how to do on the left. And this is backwards, going from the simplified to the factored. Okay, so let's start with four X plus 18. This is simplified. Now we're going to go backwards and we're going to factor it. So the question is, what is the largest number that goes into both 4x and 18? This is the first term, 4x. This is the second term, 18. So you see that x is in only one of the terms. That's not a common factor. Like the x is not common to both of them. So we don't have to worry about the x right now. Uh, the factors of four are one, two, and four, because one times four is four, and two times two is four. The factors of 18 are one, 18, I go from the outside in, one times 18 is 18, two times nine is 18, three times six is 18, four does not go into 18, five doesn't go into 18, and now we're at six. At this point, you should already know how to factor a number. Okay, so greatest common factor between four and 18. One is a common factor, but it is not the greatest one. Two is a common factor, and that's it. So the greatest common factor is two. I'm going to write four X using a factor of two, what can you multiply by two to get four X? Well, two times two is four, so it, two has to be involved. And then you also have to multiply this X by everything. So 
I'm going to write 4x as 2 times 2x. 2 times 2x is the same thing as 4x. It's just written with a factor. It's written with different factors. Now we're going to do the same thing for 18 using the greatest common factor, which is 2. What multiplied by 2 gives you 18? 9. See how I'm writing this vertically? I start with my original expression and then I rewrite it as factors down here on the second line. On the third line, I'm going to use the distributive property basically backwards. We have the two greatest common factor. The two is in both of these um, factors here. So I'm going to take the two and put it on the outside. And then I'm going to keep the 2x here, and I'm going to keep the 9 and keep the plus sign. So again, the greatest common factor that is used in both of the terms is pulled out here to the outside. And then the remaining, the remaining terms are put on the inside of the parentheses. And the plus remains there as well. Now we're going to double check that 2 times 2x plus 9 is the same thing as 4x plus 18. I'm going to check by using the distributive property on this one. 2 times 2x is 4x. You already know how to do this. And 2 times 9 is 18. It's the same. Hooray! Let's do one more example. Notice how I'm speaking in a very mm, calm and even tone. I don't ever do anything exciting. Uh, Nothing out of the ordinary ever happens to me. 12 plus 32y. First, we're going to find the greatest common factor of 12 and 32. I'm going to do that down here. 12 and 32. Whoa, I wrote 13 for some reason. That's a 32. The factors of 12 are 1 times 12, which is 12, 2 times 6, 3 times 4, 5 doesn't go into 12, and now we're at 6, so we're done. Okay, 32. Okay, so these are all the factors of 32. The greatest common factor is 4. So I'm going to write 12 with a factor of 4. What times 4 equals 12? 3. I'm going to do the same here. 4 times something is 32. 4 times 8 is 32. And we have to keep the y. Now I'm going to pull out the common factor, which is 4. I'm going to put it on the outside and then keep the 3 keep the plus and keep the 8y. And now it is factored. Now I'm going to double check. Oh gosh, am I going to be able to remember this? 4 times 3 plus 8y. 4 times 3 plus 8y. And the original was 12 plus 32y. So I'm going to use the distributive property on what I got. 4 times 3 is 12. 4 times 8 is 32. Keep the y. I did it right. It is exactly the same. I shall defeat you. You can't beat me because I know the, uh, I know the power of factoring. Uh, power of factoring. <laughs>